Hello and welcome back. We shall proceed to process other images. So this time the image of our interest is the is the bubble nebulae. Look at the bubble nebulae here. NGC seven six three five. So look at how it looks like and this is exactly what we are supposed to reproduce. So and we have brought you here now is at the Hubble Heritage Archive. So if you could remember in the in the second video when I was taking you through the Hubble Legacy Archive, we saw these bubble nebulae and we saw that it was cropped and I told you that is characteristic of images taken with the old camera on the Hubble Space Telescope. So you can find a complete mosaic on the Hubble Legacy Archive. So that is why I have brought you to the Hubble Heritage. And I will drop the link in the description so that you can click on it and it will bring you straight to this place. So if you scroll down, you will see the Hubble Heritage dataset because in the future we might be coming here to be downloading complete mosaic of all the data sets. So, but for now, our interest is on the bubble nebulae. So, you click on the bubble nebulae and it will bring you to a different page, different tab. Then you can scroll down. Although you can read this thing, but if you scroll down, you will see the, the three image files that we are looking for. This is for this is going to be for the blue this is going for this is going to be for the green and this is going to be for the red so to download them you click on the science the science link here so you, you click on here science or click on it here science so your images will start downloading I don't need to do that because I've done that in the past and here are my own images so the bubble nebulae I have downloaded these images in the past so so let me go straight into using fit liberator to extract sorry to to convert them from fit file to tip files so I'll click all right so I want to expand this so that I have a larger view then in the first instance, it is in linear, but uh, the images, if you want to extract them, they are not in linear form. They are in nonlinear form, and the nonlinear form, the best one is in the ASINO page. So you click on that. Okay, you check this is at the right position. You should always place it at the beginning of the peak. I'm uh, sorry, at the beginning of the heaps of the of pixels this one is also in the right position so you save so bob nebulae is in the right folder so i'm going to call this b this is going to be my b for my blue all right so go back we've done this one let's go over to this well, this is the green. Then you click on here. Then you save. This is going to be our green. Then come over. Open. For the red. Then you click then save right okay and now we have to close the face liberator we have our red sorry our blue green and red so we shall be moving to the Photoshop to start processing the image and here we are in Photoshop, let us load the images. You go to File, go down to, to Scripts, 
then load files into stocks then browse this is my blue green and red then okay and now we have our three images so we should uh, so we should proceed to to stretch them first of all I would like to untick all those and leave the blue ticked then go to image adjustment I would like to use the curve this time because I believe this is gonna be tougher so you drag it down oh okay then go to the levels levels remove it then drag this okay you do the same again curves then you Okay, images, levels, then okay. Go over to the green. The green is, even without being stretched, is already looking bright. So you have to be very careful so that you don't overstretch it, else it will dominate your image. Image levels and this is okay so it's, it's good okay the level it is then go there again curves image Levels Okay Then come over to the red Image Curves I don't need that sharp line, I just need it to be curvy. Image Okay do that again, image curves and 
levels okay so let's color let's add color to the systems this is then you click on image mode RGB color not much okay I'm checking this ones then I'm checking green and blue with any red color I'm checking red and blue then blue and check and red and green and there you have your image so the next thing to do is to change it from from normal to lighting change this from normal to lighting and you flatten the image so after flattening your image you duplicate it so you can crop it duplicate copy yes so you come over to oh sorry come over to this perspective crop tool so we can crop our image extend this one crop so this is our nice looking bubble nebulae let's compare it with the one we saw from google and here's the one we saw from google they are looking the same they are looking the same see our on so um i want to give a little bit of advice assuming after coloring your images and you have this overall um, nebulosity um, looking like uh, green if it is green it means that you you overstretched your your green part of the layers you know before we started stretching the green part we noticed that it was already bright so like i told i told you before that this thing requires a lot of experience so if you are doing it for the first time you might fall into the temptation of overstretching that green layer and so after combining your images it will look green so when, when when i was stretching my image images the green part i knew it is going to dominate my image when if i overstretch it so i purposely did not stretch it much but however i overstretched the blue and the red and that is why you can see this red here i can go on to make some edit maybe make some color changes you no know, maybe if i have to reduce the red or enhance the green or the blue i can do that so to do that we have to create another layer duplicate layer the background layer copy to okay then you go to layers, new adjustment layers, 
selective color okay then you can start to experiment with these colors you can experiment with red maybe if you want to adjust the red color you can start by doing that but I'm interested in a, interested in this one I want to reduce these colors maybe I feel like they are much so I can reduce them so I can either subtract okay this is actually increasing it this is increasing the, the red and I don't want that so I can reduce it to a durable level okay and says this is okay how about this magenta okay I don't want to I don't want to remove the colors entirely and I don't want to make them too much I think it's okay in fact I don't think I want to make any changes yet yellow do I want to change the layer the, the yellow well for me left for me alone I don't think I need to make any changes but if you feel like you want to make some changes you want to improve the colors you can go ahead so I don't think I'm interested in this so I want to delete it. I'm not interested in it. Well, you might be interested in it. In it. So let me remove this delete layer. I think I prefer this one that I did here after cropping. So I can just go ahead to flatten the image once again. And afterwards, you should save your work. Save. So we'll rename it as bubble bubble nebulae. Let me just call it bubble. And this, the, the file format should be our file format should be PNG. PNG is better. I can also save it in, in JPEG. In fact, I'm gonna do that. Let's save. Okay. So this is how I was able to colorize my bubble nebulae.